my name is Abby. I am the product owner here at Eden. Uh, my goal as a product owner is really to try and make the product as easy to use as possible. That to me has been the real problem with neurotech in the past is that uh, everyone is working to make it easier, but it's still hard to get into. A lot of times you need to start with the neurotech early adopter market, which is the neurotech nerds, which I consider myself belonging as part of, but I'd really like to make it um, completely democratic and make it easy for any developer, even people with no neuroscience background, no experience in neurotech, have never played with a BCI before, to just log on, uh, access the API or go to our web app and be able to immediately start recording EEG data in a super easy way, not even needing to do any of the data science themselves, but just getting things like the cognitive load score, jaw clenches, eye classifiers, FFT data, um, anything that they could need to actually start developing with a BCI without needing to understand BCIs as soon as possible. EEG is a biosensor that measures the brain um, and is often done in a clinical setting, but as of recent, in the past 10 years or so, it's become much more of a consumer item. So we uh, can pick up the voltage differences between two different points and use that to interpret things about how your brain works or about what you're thinking or about the actions that you're taking. Um, it can be used for diagnostics, it can be used for measuring sleep, it can be used for productivity. Uh, it has a ton of different applications and they're only growing. So it's an interesting new tech that I'm really excited to be a part of. Cognitive workload can be thought of as the mental effort that it takes to complete a task. You can inherently think about this uh, in terms of arithmetic, for example, by how difficult it is to calculate 2 plus 3 versus 128 times 218. Uh, it takes obviously much more effort to do the second kind of calculation, and that applies across all different tasks that your brain is doing. So if you're washing the dishes for the thousandth time, that's going to take less effort than reading a really complicated nonfiction book in a topic that you're completely unfamiliar with. Um, this can be extrapolated out to your day-to-day -day life and be used as a very important metric for productivity to quantify how hard you're working, uh, how maybe much how much progress you're making. And it can also be intertwined with stress and focus to really quantify your productivity level. How we do it at Eden is uh, we measure the relative difference of the voltage changes across different activities. And then we can use this to quantify how much mental workload you're putting into a certain activity. So let's go back to the arithmetic example. Um, we can see a very clear difference from when you're doing small calculations that are easy to doing very different calculations. And by Looking at this over a range of different subjects over time and different activities, you can really see a trend in when someone is performing something that's easy for them to do, it's going to have a certain neural metric that you can quantify with a cognitive load score and you can give it a value. So say you give it a value of 0.5 for an easy score, then it might be a value of two for a really difficult problem that you're facing. And by quantifying this, we can really apply it to a range of applications, but most importantly, we can help influence it with a closed loop circuit. So that's a little bit of where the tech comes in and why this type of score would make a really big difference in a product. Uh, for me, I know we've been talking about it a lot today, but I'm really, really excited about the productivity metric. Um, looking at what's on the market outside of EEG, there's not much that classifies productivity to a high accuracy and is able to really help people make the most of their day, be the most efficient, and potentially enable people to get in and out of work as soon as possible. Uh, and I think that that's a really beautiful concept of giving people more free time, giving people more flexibility and more space in their lives while still accomplishing and contributing to the world in a useful manner. And I think that bringing that productivity approach to life and enabling people to understand it better and quantify it really accurately and include it with their other metrics is a really interesting problem and is is really cool to be able to bring that to life in 2024.